All right, so you guys saw the problem that I've got with uh, my downspouts. And these do go underground, but uh, I have no idea where they daylight. Somewhere out in the yard, but uh, these were installed so long ago that uh, it's overgrown. It, it doesn't daylight at all anymore. Um, part of the problem is because they were installed improperly. And uh, that's what I'm going to fix today. So uh, let me go get some tools and uh, we'll get started. Alright, so I've disconnected that uh, corrugated pipe from the downspout. So now I'm going to cut that off. I'm not going to try to rip that out. I'm just going to leave it in place. Okay, the first problem is the type of adapter that's being used. This doesn't allow for any airflow at all. So you could see the water churgling up as it was going down because there was no water or no air being able to come in and allow it to flow smoothly. That was one of the problems. So with the adapter that I'm going to use, uh, we're going to take care of that. All right, next I want to dig my trench. And I've got another downspout on the corner of the house. So I'm going to dig my trench up and along uh, to the end of the house. And then I'm going to bring that pipe in from that downspout. And then I'll, I'll combine the two inside a D box or a distribution box. So let me get to digging these trenches. We've actually had uh, quite a bit of rain uh, the last couple of weeks, so it's uh, kind of softened up the soil quite a bit. So let me finish this trench and I'll bring you guys back in. All right, this is the kind of adapter that I'm gonna use. And uh, this will fit both the three by four. Um, you just pull this insert out and it'll fit the three by four. With the insert in, it'll fit the uh, Two and a half by three and a quarter, which is what I've got. And then you pull these tabs up, and this is how you attach it to the uh, downspout. So the reason I'm going to be using this, as you see, I've got this side inlet here, and that uh, serves a couple of purposes. One, if uh, when if you've got large debris coming down your downspout, leaves, twigs, you know, anything like that it's going to prevent it from going into your pipe. It'll just hit this and just uh, come out or you'll be able to just grab it out and clean it out. Um, that is really good if you're installing this uh, an underground downspout uh, in an area that has a lot of trees. I don't have that problem here but I'm going to use these anyway for the second reason why you want to use something like this and because it allows air into the channel here so with the air coming in the water is going to flow a lot better and uh, the best way to describe it it's kind of like a gas can where you have that uh, cap in the back that when you open up that cap it allows air in which allows the gas to flow out of the can a lot more smoothly that's the same principle that you've got here 
So it's kind of a dual purpose. It, uh, it's a leaf guard and it's an inlet for air. So this is what I'm gonna use. Uh, so let me go ahead and get that attached. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, a lot of times I'll use these slotted screws to attach your downspout. You can see them here, but uh, the little trick is if you've got one of these uh, magnetic adapters that'll hold in a drill bit, it's also the same size that will hold these, so it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to worry about those slots. Okay, here you can see how nice and flush these uh, PVC adapters fit. All right, so what I've done is I've gotten a PVC, four inch PVC uh, 90. I've got that attached to the adapter. And then I've got this triple wall pipe that uh, fits perfectly with PVC uh, adapters, connectors. And the triple wall comes with uh, an adapter built into it. So you can see on the inside it's smooth. And uh, because it's smooth on the inside, it's not going to catch debris like normal corrugated pipe is. So this is uh, the type of pipe that I would recommend. It's a lot cheaper than PVC. But it, and it uh, has a little bit more flex to it than PVC, and you can cut it with uh, just a regular, a regular blade. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this to size. This is where I'm going to be putting my uh, distribution box or D-box. Give you a better look of what the uh, what this looks like. It's three layers, so you've got a layer on the inside, a layer on the outside, and then you've got your your actual pipe in the center. And it looks like this is 3,000 triple wall HDPE four inch ID. Okay, this is the distribution box or D-box that I'm going to be using. And uh, this one comes with uh, and two inlets or one inlet, one outlet, however you want to describe it. And then they've come with these uh, adapters that fit in here like this and then you just spin them in. And then you attach your uh, PVC here and it supports both 3 inch and 4 inch. But I need three inlets, so what I'm going to do, you notice that these come with the ability to punch these out and then you can get up to four. So the way that you want to uh, pop these out, at least the way that I do it, is I just get a uh, just a chisel and I get in here and I, I bang it in you know with and then it p starts to pop out so you just go all the way around and this should pop out and then you'll have another uh, inlet and I only need three so I only need to pop one of these out
there so you can see that that's popped out let's see if this fits in there okay and it fits just fine so that's how you do that so let's take this out and uh, let's go get it attached to the pipes all right I've got my downspout attached to my drain my gutter downspout pipe and I've got my flange there I have placed my box in there just to see if I was deep enough and I've measured the distance to this uh, downspout so I need to go cut that but if you take a look inside here uh, this actually has about an inch a reservoir where it'll collect water and you don't want to do that because what you're doing there is harboring uh, breeding ground for mosquitoes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill holes in the bottom and I'm gonna fill the bottom of this hole up with gravel uh, just for drainage that'll drain this and it'll give me some drainage right there so let me uh, get these holes drilled and uh, We'll start putting this together. All right, I've got these connected. Got it connected to my box here. You can see uh, the gravel. I brought the gravel all the way up to the bottom of my distribution box. Not sure if you can see the holes that I've drilled in the bottom or not. But, uh, pre-dug this trench looks like I I missed that one a little bit I'm gonna have to move over here and dig my trench right there but I've got uh, I've got that in connect and I've started to cover it over and I'll cover it over all the way up here but uh, probably will wait until I get this trench dug and uh, this piece connected so let me get to that all right, I've got everything hooked up. This is my, uh, this is where everything will daylight. So I've started to uh, cover that up. I didn't cover it all the way up because I'll be using some of the sod that I dug up to patch that. I had to go on underneath this curbing here. But, uh, so the whole idea is you want to have nice smooth uh, those PVC uh, 90 degree angles those are nice and smooth and they won't gather the shingle gravel and this uh, triple wall tubing is the same way it's not going to grab any of the uh, shingle gravel the shingle gravel ideally is going to collect in this box and in that box and both of those can be cleaned out um, because that top just lifts right off so I've I dug a deep hole underneath each box filled it up with gravel uh, for drainage drilled holes in the bottom of these boxes so that they won't hold any water we don't want to be uh, breeding mosquitoes so now all I have to do is uh, cover this up and uh, we should be good and uh, that's a leftover piece that I'm gonna be doing this uh, to the backyard as well um, I probably won't make a video of that but uh, I want to show you something this is what I had on there before and again I'm not sure if if it was the house builders that put this system in I think it was the sprinkler guys but I want to show you what happens with this see how that gets clogged up with the shingle gravel I mean that's completely blocked And that's one of the problems with this corrugated tubing is uh, it'll gather the shingle gravel will start to collect and then it'll start mounding up and uh, over time it'll just block the entire thing of course this is a three inch uh, pipe and I put down four inch pipe uh, so that's going to help the fact that I'm using um, slick wall on the inside that's going to help as well um, I've made sure that I've got a nice down slope um, all the way along my piping and um, I used all-weather 
waterproof gorilla tape to tape each of the seams. You can see right there and you can see right there. And um, this, this tape, it's, it's kind of like a cross between butyl tape and, and duct tape. Um, it's really, really adhesive and it's uh, very, very water resistant. Nobody likes to say that they're waterproof, but uh, it comes pretty close. And if it leaks a little bit there, that's not going to be a problem. I just mainly want to hold things together. I'm using that tape uh, because it's uh, waterproof. But let me cover this up and then we'll uh, close this video out. All right, got everything put back in place. Got my grass patched as best I could. There's my distribution box. I've got a downspout drain pipe coming from that gutter and coming from that gutter over there. Comes down here, runs into there. So I've got two flushing through that D box, which should keep it pretty much clean Hopefully all the uh, shingle gravel will collect at the bottom. And another thing that I want to point out. Is I've got this dual purpose inlet here. It acts both as a leaf guard and as an air inlet, which helps flush the water through. So... And I think that's going to do it for this project. And then I've got my uh, yeah, daylights right here. So I've got two, I've got an endpoint that I can clean out. I've got a distribution box or D box that I can clean out. And then those uh, air inlets and leaf guards on both of those are another access point that I can use to flush uh, this system out if I need to. So that's the way that you should really bury your downspout. Make sure that you've got uh, air inlet right at the gutter. You have a D box. If you have more than one line, it's best to have two going into it. And then make sure you've got a nice big uh, daylight box as well. That way uh, it won't get overgrown with the grass. It could still, so you need to keep an eye on it, but it'll be a lot easier to spot. All right, that's going to do it for uh, this week's video. So I'll talk to you guys later.